Hey everyone, it's Julie here with Tip Ranks. Today we're taking a look at two strong buy quantum computing stocks. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back. Thank you all so much for being here. Today, we're taking a look at two stocks in the quantum computing sector. We are on the cusp of the transition from transitional computing to quantum computing. Quantum computers make use of the principles of quantum mechanics to tackle far more complex problems much faster than traditional computing. This is a fast growing area and the addressable market is anticipated to reach $30 billion in just the next 10 years. So that means a lot of growth. And with that in mind, we're taking a look at two stocks that though they've seen a lot of growth already, analysts think that there's more ahead. We're going to take a look at these companies today, what it is that they do, and of course, what analysts are saying. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Now let's dive right in. First up, we're taking a look at IonQ. They trade under the ticker IONQ, currently priced above $40 per share. Year to date, the stock is down slightly, nearly 4%, but in the last three months is up about 30%. IonQ is developing Trapped Ion Quantum Computing, a method that makes use of electromagnetic fields to trap and hold ions, electrically charged atom particles, and to make use of their stable electric states to store qubit information, the basic data storage of quantum computing. In effect, IonQ is using the electromagnetic potential inherent in atoms to tap into the properties of subatomic quantum particles from which they are built. Their existing 25 qubit area is the company's flagship system, but they're not standing still and are working on a new system, Tempo, to bring higher capacity quantum computers to the commercial market. Their next quarterly earning report is coming up next week on August 6th. This does follow an earnings and revenue beat in their previous quarter. They reported a loss per share of 14 cents, which was 11 cents better than analysts were anticipating, and revenue of 7.57 million also beat expectations. The company announced their proposed acquisition of a light sink, which is expected to accelerate their quantum computing roadmap, along with other partnerships and global expansion. Their most recent analyst rating came just yesterday from an analyst at Rosenblatt who said, we believe IonQ provides an attractive way to gain exposure to the quantum computing market, a market that we see as the next era of computing. It's our view that the quantum computing market is set up to be a multiple winner market and not a winner takes all. We have a high level of confidence that IonQ is well positioned to take its place among the winners. And unlike some early stage competitors, they'll be exiting 2025 with annualized revenues in excess of $100 million, nearly doubling in 2026, and could be well on track for $1 billion in revenue over the next few years. There are seven analysts with a current rating on the stock, and it does come in as a strong buy with six buys and one hold. The average price target is $47.50, implying an upside potential of about 18%. But looking at the most recent ratings, they are more bullish. The one from Rosenblatt came in with an upside of 73%, others 11% and upwards, and then those downsides are from back in May. And for our second stock today, we're looking at D-Wave Quantum. They trade under the ticker QBTS, currently at $17.56. They're up 109% year-to-date, gaining 115% in the last three months. D-Wave was one of the early entrants into the quantum computing world, with their business starting in 1999. Developing quantum computing from both the hardware and software sides, they currently have several quantum systems available through the cloud or through on-premises installations. They claim that their systems have achieved 99.9% .9 availability, an important reliability milestone. Looking ahead, they recently released their latest quantum computing system, the Advanced Advantage 2. This is an annealing quantum computer designed to optimize problem solving by locating the lowest energy state of a quantum system. They'll also be sharing their next quarterly report next week on August 7th. This does follow an earnings beat in their last quarter, plus record quarterly revenue. They reported a narrower than expected loss per share of two cents and revenue came in at $15 million, which was a significant increase of 509% from the previous year. They also closed the quarter with a record $304 million in cash. And just a few days ago, we did hear from a five-star analyst at Benchmark. 
He said that the company has demonstrated significant progress with record revenue and a breakthrough in quantum supremacy, indicating tangible advancements in their technology. Moreover, D-Wave's expanding global footprint, evidenced by a memorandum of understanding with a South Korean university, suggests a growing international presence and collaboration opportunities. These developments, coupled with the anticipation surrounding their upcoming earnings report, provide a strong foundation for the future growth and justify their buy rating. And with nine current analyst ratings, D-Wave does come in as a unanimous strong buy. The average price target comes in at $19.50, which would just be an upside of 11% given all that stock's recent growth. But once again, more of the recent ratings have a bit bigger upside, ranging from a few percent all the way up to 71%. So that is a quick look at two strong buy stocks in the computing sector. Let me know your thoughts on these two companies. If you've already dipped your toe in the quantum computing sector or which stock catches your eye the most, I always love hearing from you guys. Please keep in mind these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock, so please make sure you always do your own research and stick to your own investment plan. Thank you guys so much for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you back here next time.